Welcome to another PC Sports Cards video. Today I am showing you the results from my first six cards that came back from grading for the $1,000 challenge. I want to start off by talking about something real quick and then I'll get into the cards and the results. We went five for six in the submission, which is 83%, which is absolutely phenomenal. A lot of people talk about how grading got harder or PSA is getting harder on cards. And I disagree with that. I think people are being less picky with what they send in. This is a perfect example because there were 20 cards, of which I'm going to guess 15 are at least a 9 or better, while 5 had some kind of major or major damage or flaw that would make it an 8 or worse. A lot of people would have sent in all 15 cards. Maybe they got one. Maybe they got two more PSA 10s out of it. I could have left one on the table. Who knows with the cards that I didn't send in. But that would have looked a lot worse than me going 5 for 6. So... Take that math and take that ability to review cards into account when you're talking about and thinking about things like that. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to show you the card, but first I'm going to show you my review of that card, and then I'm going to show you the result, and we're going to keep on going back and forth like that. I've never done that before. I've never tried to cut the videos like this, but I'm going to give it a shot. So we have the Patrick Mahomes. Another. This is the next one down. This one, that one was only $4. There's a reason he sold it to me for a discount, right? So, might just auction that or put it at $9.99 best offer, put a little note, and just take the hit if I get a hit. Maybe you'll have to break even on it anyway. I'm just going to flip this one over right away. Really clean back. There's a print line going through it, but that's the same on every one of these. I don't think that's a big deal. Corners look good. Edges look good. I don't know if you see this print line going through it. You can see it there. It goes all the way through. They generally don't kill you for that. Very common on these cards. They generally don't kill you for that. I'm gonna give it a wipe. Look for any major flaws on the front. No major flaws. So guess what, boys and girls? I mean. I think this channel ranks out at like 99% uh, men watching it. So if I say boys, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but it's just what it is. This pink camo will be the first one that we're sending into PSA for sure. So I'm Holmes, which in your in the review view video you saw had some print lines on it. We got a PSA 10. It's pop 12 or pop 13 right now. It is already up for auction on eBay. Very happy with this grade. And again, we showed in the review there were one or two print lines on the back of the card that some people may not submit this card because of. I love grading Otani stuff. I think it's a good thing to grade. These 85s are generally tough, but they're generally tough because of centering. Nice looking front. See no issues that I'm worried about on the front. I like the color of the back. See where the light is, looking at, looking at everything. Look at the top. There is, that's an eye thing, that's nothing. Let's turn it to the side, get a different angle. Again, I see no problems at all with this card. So this is card number two that's going in. All right, card number two. All right. Next up is the Otani. I didn't see anything wrong with this card. I still don't know what I'm missing. Um, happens sometimes. It is off-center, top to bottom. That could be it. I don't know, but it's up for auction as well. We got our Brady that was in the top loader. Okay, come on out, Tom. Right. The front on these mosaics is generally clean. I've never really seen a huge, huge issue. But he does have pretty good quality control on the fronts. All right. The back. Again, let's take it on the horizontal also. 
See if anything shows up that way. I try to look at both directions just because of the grain of the of the of the stock. You miss something one direction, but you see it the other. There's definitely print lines on it. You could see them, but again, I that those don't matter. Yeah, this card's definitely definitely going in. So. This was actually the last one, I think, on our lot. Okay. Third card up. Brady, which you just saw the review of. This Brady, we know, had some print lines on it. I don't know where this ink came from. It was not on there when I did the review. I'm guessing it's on the inside of the slab. I can't really tell. I've looked like three or four times. Can't really tell. Um, again, this is up for auction. All of these mosaics are really low pop. I'm going to be even pickier. I'll be very honest with you guys. I bid on this lot and I did not did not bid what I I bid like $90,000 on this lot for six cards accidentally. I meant to bid like some weird number and I forgot the decimal and it ended up just being a, a bad bid. Um, it happens. I didn't message the buy. I didn't message the seller one time to try to back out of it. I'll live my life. I think I paid too much for it. I think I paid like five dollars a card or six dollars a card, so I don't think it was a good buy. It was a mistake. There's no question about it. If that being said, if four of these grade out, or three or four of these grade out, it still could be a win, right? It could still it could still definitely definitely be a win. So let's uh, let's actually take one second break. Let's go and put Green Mosaic is next. As you see, really nice. Got another PSA 10 here. We saw some print lines on it when we were doing the review. You could still see the print lines through here. I don't know if you can see them on there on the camera, but I can still see them with the hand with the card in hand. But it's not a major flaw. Stop cutting cards out of grading just because of those print lines. Good one. I especially wanted the magics. Magic's the best seller out of all the guys that were in this lot, so I really wanted the Magic's to be good. Super sharp corners. Edges look good. Alright, nothing there. I'm going to get a better angle here. Okay. That looks good. One angle here, see if I see anything. Nothing. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Into the loaders. All right, so we got a projected 10 on the first magic. Next up's Magic Johnson. Like I said in the review video, this is one of the ones that I really want. I know this is going to be 35 40 bucks, and I paid a dollar for it. So I'm making decent money on this one. No major flaws. Even if I get 25 26 bucks, I'm making money. Dr. J and Kareem are left. Okay, nothing wrong there. Normal looking back so far. Some little marks down here. I don't think it's a major issue though. I think we're good on this. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile just because I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna look up the value of this card as a PSA 10. Just so you guys know, when you check out the spreadsheet, you'll see that I put the grading charges $18.50, not $19. That's because if you submit an order with us and everything goes from graded consignment, we give you a 50 cent discount. And I'm taking advantage of that. If I'm charging myself the real numbers, I'm taking advantage of all my discounts also. So obviously the flaw that we saw in the Dr. J, which I could still see through the, the slab, was not a major flaw and we still got a 10 on it. 
Hopefully, I'm running this at auction. I'm running the risk that I'm going to get eighteen to twenty-two dollars for it, as we saw the blue reactive goes. But I might get up up to forty. That's the comp, most recent comp that was fixed price. But I don't want to fix price of these cards. I want to just run them as if I'm just getting them and selling them. So, as you can see, guys, five out of six. I'm looking for seventy percent. I got eighty-three percent. My next order is already on the way back. I cannot wait to do more reviews with that and show you the grades and show you the cut back and forth video. Hopefully this video comes out good. I really don't know if it is. Um, thank you so much for watching and look forward to doing more.